Hi everyone, in this video you will discover some powerful conditional formatting tricks that can instantly transform your Excel sheets. Conditional formatting isn't about colors, it's about insights. So let's explore some clever tricks that make your data speak. In this sheet you can see I have list of students and on the right side I have created a drop down list containing the names. Now my goal is to highlight the data against the name which I choose from this drop down list. Okay, you may have a list of products, countries, cities, or anything that contains text. In order to do this, select your data. In the home tab, go to conditional formatting and from the drop down menu, choose new rule. In this window, you will see the option use a formula to determine which cells to format. Click on that and in the formula bar, you are supposed to provide title of the column that contains your required information. Here you can see my drop down list basically contains names. So from my database, I am going to choose the title of my name column that is also labeled as name. Let's provide the reference of this cell. And as we do not want to fix the cell, we only want to fix the column. So press F4 twice to remove the dollar sign with the number. Then type equal to and provide the reference of the cell. Okay. Then click on format and from the fill option, choose any color that you want your draw to appear in after the selection. Let me choose light pink from here. Press OK and then again press OK. And here you can see the information against the name that is existing here has been highlighted in our main data. If you choose any other name from here, the highlighter will move to that draw. So if you like this trick, then don't forget to hit like to the video. Now let's move towards the second trick. In this trick, let's say you want to add entries in future and our task is to generate any automated process that can automatically create borders around our entries. So in order to do this, first select the columns containing your headers. Okay, you are supposed to choose the complete column. So the best way to do this is to do the highlighting by choosing the name of columns. Then go to conditional formatting and here again go to new rule and from this window choose use a formula to determine which cells to format and here let's type the formula type equal to first and then provide the reference of the first header let's press f4 twice to remove dollar sign with number then go to format and our task is to automate the border generation process so i'm going to choose border from here and in the presence let's choose this outline option and let's press ok again press ok so currently we are not seeing any border because we haven't made any entry yet but as soon as you start making entries you will see that the conditional formatting will start creating borders against your entries now let's say you want to generate a sequence of superscripted numbers so one way to do this is to manually type the superscripted sequence but this is not an efficient way to do this let me show you a smart way to achieve this objective for that purpose you only need to make only first entry then highlight this st part only and from the keyboard press ctrl 1 and this window will appear here you are supposed to choose superscript and press ok now you can see that st has been shifted to the top of one now place your cursor on the entry and just drag it down and here you will get the sequence of your super scripted numbers so if you like this trick then let me know in the comment section now let's move towards our fourth trick here you can say that you have any list of tasks and you want to see the progress of the project based on the task accomplished. So in order to do this, we are going to use two conditional formatting tricks here. First, we will use conditional formatting trick to show our status. Then we will use this merge section to represent the overall progress of the project. So in order to show the status, first highlight this column and then go to conditional formatting Click on new rule from here in the format style, choose icon sets and select the option show icon only. From the type, choose number 
and in the value for the green circle we are going to give 1 and for the yellow we are going to type 0 0.5 which means that the 0 will be red okay we actually do not need yellow but we need green and red so i have given the value here that i am not going to use now let's press okay so if you type 1 you will see the green and if you type 0 you will see the red circle okay you can center align them by using the center aligned our next task is to create the overall progress of the project here for that purpose i am going to use a formula here so place your cursor on the merge cells and let's type equal to count f provide the reference of this section and let's fix it by pressing f4 type comma and with an inverted commas type 1 close the parentheses and then add the slash and then type count a and again provide the reference of this section and let's fix it by pressing f4 and then press enter so here you are seeing 0.5 now our task is to convert it into percentage for that purpose place your cursor on the entry and from the keyboard press ctrl 1 go to number and here you will see the option of percentage okay i am going to choose two decimal places from here and press ok now let's upgrade the status of our task now our next task is to represent this information in the progress bar format okay for that purpose again go to conditional formatting and choose new rule and from here this time let's choose data bar okay and in the type here choose number and also from maximum choose number here give one and from the color section you can choose any color that you want to show your progress bar in i am going to choose light orange and let's press ok so here you can see the progress bar has been appearing here now whenever you change the status of task from here the progress bar will move forward or backward according to the percentages so this is the smartest way to show the progress of your projects now let me show you another trick to make your work easier here let's suppose you have two list of names sometimes what happens when you compare two data your information is available in both the sheets but sometimes due to spelling mistakes entries got overlooked so this is the smartest way to see whether you have similar entries existing in two sheets or whether you have different type of information okay so in order to compare two lists first select your data go to conditional formatting and from here choose highlight cell rules and then go to duplicate values and in this section instead of duplicate select unique and press ok now what is happening here it is basically highlighting the information that is unique or different from both the list here you can see i have a name written as ali khan and again here it is written as ali khan the same name is existing in both the sheets but with some spelling errors okay so this is a quick way to see that whether the entry is existing in both the list or whether it is missed so i hope you enjoyed the today's video because in this video we have learned some practical tips to improvise the physical appearance and searching of our information from large databases so if you want to learn more tips and tricks like these then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the today's video then don't forget to hit like and drop a comment this is all for today thank you for your time stay happy stay blessed